Hello there, my name's Vinny Voodoo, and in this video we're going to be talking about Warzone 2 because old Raisin Software, uh, did I just say Raisin Software? <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it from now on. Raven Software have released quite a large amount of information about Warzone 2. It's not specifics, such as the exact date it's coming out and stuff, but it is new information. And I've collated it from various sources, so you don't have to. And if you have a very specific uh, question you want answering, I'll chapter this up and break it into a sort of mini FAQ. So without further ado, why don't we have a look at what's going on with the release imminent, that it is, of Warzone 2. Okay, let's get the um, obvious question out of the way. When is Warzone 2 coming out? Well, I can tell you this. I can narrow it down to within 60 days. The reason I know that is it's absolutely confirmed that Warzone 2 is coming out this year, 2022. It's also coming out after the release of Modern Warfare 2, which is October the 28th of 2022. So let's just say it'll be sometime in November or sometime in December. Now, I'm going to predict it's going to be over a week after the release of Modern Warfare 2 because they're going to iron out the kinks of Modern Warfare 2, of which will also go into Warzone 2. So I'm going to predict 30 days after the release of Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2 will come out. It's just a guess on my part, but I can guarantee you this, at least if what they're telling is the truth, uh, it will come out within that 60-day window after the release of Modern Warfare 2 on October the 28th. So a question that occurs to me is why Warzone 2? Why don't they just revamp or at least make Warzone 1 better? The aforementioned fact that Warzone 1 has all sorts of dregs from Black Ops and Vanguard in it that really was a bad business decision. It was a bad coding decision. It wasn't good for gamers. I understand why they did it, because they wanted to sell Black Ops, which was all right, and Vanguard, which was shit. So I understand why they actually tried to get people to buy those games by integrating it into Warzone, hence the clan tier that I've discussed in other videos. So the reason they're going for Warzone 2 is a clean slate. Both games, Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, are going to be made by Infinity Ward. And if you're an old school War Warzone player, you'll remember the days of Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone just being compatible. If there was a free weekend of Modern Warfare multiplayer, it played through Warzone. You didn't download another game because it was effectively the same game. Same engine, same operators, same guns, same everything. They buggered it up by putting in Black Ops and Vanguard and they're not going to make that mistake again. This is what's most exciting about this. It's a clean slate, and I'll touch on that in another question, but it's a clean slate that uses the same engine by the same people who've done it right in the past. Now, this is an interesting question, and that is, what consoles is the game Warzone 2 coming to? Now, if you'd have asked me this two months ago, I would have said current gen only. That is the PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and not on anything prior to that. Well, it's now official. Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 will be on all consoles from Xbox One and above, and PS4 and above. It's a little disappointing for me because I thought with the clean slate would come this sort of requirement that you have to have the current gen because what's going to happen is they're going to make this game for the base consoles, that's the PS4 and Xbox One, and then tart it up for the current gen. They'll do 60 frames a second. There may be a little bit of ray tracing, but the core of the imagery will be uh, Modern Warfare 2019, which looked great but it is a three-year-old game and it won't look like a brand new game. So at least that's in my opinion, uh, because they're going to tailor it to work on the lowest common denominator, which I'm going to say is the Xbox One because it's uh, uh, an Xbox and I'm a PS4 guy. <laughs> but yes, it is what it is. It's going to run on all consoles from the PS4 and Xbox One and up. Now, 
then finally, so Warzone 2 comes out. It runs on the uh, new consoles and the old consoles. What's going to happen to Warzone 1? What's going to happen to all the stuff that people have invested, uh, you know, not an inconsiderable amount of money on uh, in the original game? Well, they're going to continue hosting the servers and supporting the game. And I'm going to put supporting in quotes because, as we know with Activision, the moment a new game comes out, they immediately drop support in terms of new new updates and new content immediately the time a new game comes out. So my prediction is the moment that Warzone 2 comes out, there'll be whatever bundles they've created, but there won't be any new ones in the store. And eventually the store will just disappear. People will stop playing it. They'll move and migrate to Warzone 2 and Warzone 1 will be gone. But for a period of time, and I'm going to predict, uh, predict six months or less, Warzone 1 will run concurrently with Warzone 2. But since you can play it on all consoles, why would you play Warzone 1? Why would you play the inferior product, assuming it is, uh, over the brand spanky new product that comes out uh, shortly? I don't know the answer to that, but they're going to run at the same time, at least for a short while. And so that's it to keep it brief. I've answered the main ones that I think people will want to know the answers to. But if you have questions that I haven't answered, ask them in the comments. And if I've got an answer, I'll answer it there. Or I may indeed do a follow up to this. The question uh, that I guess remains is how is it going to differ? Well, obviously it's going to be different perks. It's going to be different gameplay. I believe there's going to be a forge mode. If you're familiar with Halo's forge mode, it's going to be a sandbox mode that you can actually uh, edit the map to your heart's content and you and your buddies can run around on that edited map. But I would imagine any XP earned on an edited map wouldn't go towards your main online XP uh, because you could set something up where you could just kill a thousand bad guys in a straight line or something like that. But if that's the case, that's a little bit of fun that we don't currently have. I understand there's going to be a shooting range. So I mean, I've been asking for at least four videos so you could test out your loadout without having to go into the game and hope you come across someone. It's a, That is really, really good if they do that. So uh, that'll be uh, something to look forward to as well. And as I said, we're not looking uh, too long in the future here. It's uh, currently getting towards the end of July. And so we're looking at August, September, October and possibly November at most four months. Um, and maybe even less before it comes out. But that's it from me. I hope this has been of use. As I said, leave me a comment if you have a question I haven't answered, and I'll try and get back to you. In the meantime, it leaves me to say, my name's Vinny Voodoo, and thanks for watching.